well, I just can't help myself. I'm going to do more nicks because I just figured out how to do something that I just didn't want to figure out how to do on other Linux distributions in Nix, and it's actually easier in Nix. Well, at least at least it it uh, made sense to me in Nix uh, the way this works. But um, for the longest time, I I mentioned in the in a previous video that this this ThinkPad has a NVIDIA Optimus graphics setup, which means it has both an Intel G GPU, which is you know part of the part of the chip die, the CPU die, and then it also has a discrete CPU, Intel, and it's not like you just, you say Intel only or NVIDIA only, they, they can work together, and it's, it's a mess, but um, they're, on, on Windows anyway, it's possible to sort of, you know, right-click a program and say, run under the NVIDIA GPU, and everything else runs under the Intel GPU, you know. Um, that never, I never really felt like I, I didn't want to think about that <laughs> under Linux because there were all kinds of ways to do it. There's a thing called Bumblebee, and the kind of Optimus thing you had was important. And, uh, and I just decided, okay, well, for my desktop, it doesn't really matter anyway. I mean, it's not actually a desktop, it's a laptop, but it's another machine I have. It's a, it's a ThinkPad P52. And it has um, Optimus graphics, but I just run that in in discrete mode because uh, basically just it just powers an external display that I have, and um, uh, it doesn't really matter how much energy it uses because it's plugged into the wall. And I'm sure you know some tree hugger will kill me for that, but yeah, it doesn't matter how much. And um, but uh, for this one, this ThinkPad P51, I don't use this connected to any external monitor. I use this um, around the apartment and if I happen to go anywhere, which is vanishingly infrequently these days. <laughs> uh, I'll take it, you know, and use it on battery power or whatever. And one thing, it was bugging me that I couldn't get the Olive video editor to work under Intel mode, or at least under offload mode, which implies using the Intel GPU. It's very complicated, but anyway, I couldn't get our video editor to work. And what would happen is um, I would I would do this Olive editor, and you know it's it's now this is being rendered using the using the um, using the uh, Intel GPU, and usually when you drag this down here, uh, use footage parameters. You know, a timeline comes up comes up down here, and it, and, it, and it just doesn't work when when it's when it's under uh, when it's in offload mode. It just it just doesn't work. So I had to switch it in order to edit videos on here. I'd have to go into the um, I'd have to go into the to the config file and. I would have to uh, sync. I'd have to change it from offload enable equal true to sync enable equal true, reboot whatever in order to use a video editor. It was just pain. So I decided, okay, well, I know it's possible to to do this. I know you can do it on on Windows. So I'll try to figure it out. So I did, and um, the the uh, let's see here. Um, if I search for NVIDIA, uh, let's see, NVIDIA Nix OS, yeah, so in the wiki, uh, it has pretty good documentation about how to configure sort of this, you know, mixed mode uh, of operation. and. One thing that is unfortunate for the P51 uh, is that it is a, I think it is a 7th gen machine. Is it a 7th gen machine? 7th uh, gen Intel CPU. 
let's see, is it? Yes, it's a seventh gen Intel CPU. And because of this, uh, the, the uh, Optimus mode where it powers down the NVIDIA GPU if it's not in use, doesn't do quite as good of a job as it, it should. Uh, and on eighth and, and subsequent generations of CPUs, it works fine. So what I tried first uh, in, in this was I tried to install this thing called Bumblebee. Um, and it was simple. You just type hardware Bumblebee enable equal true. I figured Bob's my uncle. Uh, and I would reboot and it would work. And then I would run my, uh, my video editor with Primus Run Olive Editor, something like that. How, however, uh, that just, it just seg faulted when I, when I did that. So either Bumblebee's not working or it's incompatible with the setup, which I doubt. I think it, I think it probably works. Or, it, or it's unmaintained now because because there's there's other ways to do it um, and people don't care about the older CPUs but you can also use this this offload mode uh, where you sort of create this NVIDIA offload script and basically just set some environment variables and ex execute program um, that's that's all there is to using the the NVIDIA card instead of the Intel card so, um, so I did that and it worked. So I'm going to show you how to do that um, uh, with the caveat that uh, it's not exactly the most efficient way to do it. Although it seems pretty good, like if I go into power top, it's not, not so bad. But anyway, so uh, let's, uh, let's cat this thing, which is in projects. XOS offload. Okay. So what I need to do inside of my configuration.nix is copy that, edit it, and paste this. Oops. Paste that in there, under there. And we're just defining a uh, shell script. I guess this is a shortcut for not having to write some, you know, derivation. Uh, it's just something that lets you write a, a, a shell script and it'll it'll put it in the Nix store and, and whatever and it'll call it, it'll be called NVIDIA offload with these contents in it. And then uh, you have to add that to your system packages like that. And um, once you do that, you can just run uh, I wouldn't run, I'm not going to run s s uh, rebuild switch now. I'm just going to do, that is my automated cat food feeder. It is trusty. Um, to do in uh, uh, Nix, Nixos, yeah, that's what I want to do. Nixos rebuild boot. So this should write that shell script, add it to the software, and I will need to reboot after this finishes in order for the, the, uh, uh, do I? Do I need to reboot? I don't know, let's try it with that. Probably not, right? I'm already in offload mode. NVIDIA offload, yeah, sure enough. Offload, no, no, wait. Maybe, maybe if I start a new shell. NVIDIA off, offload, what the heck? Oh, of course, of course, of course. I, I typed in sudo nix, nix OS rebuild boot. I need, I, I need switch. That's what I got to do instead. <clears throat> Go hide my OBS. All right. Do, 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 do. NVIDIA offload. Okay, it's not... I open a new terminal. Okay, there it is now. Now if we do olive editor and I believe this is now running under the NVIDIA GPU. Import. 
that in here. Drag that down here. Use switch parameters. Show sure enough. Works works a charm. So um, yeah. So now the only thing I have to do is ensure that when I invoke Olive Editor that it is always invoked that way. And if I just did this, if I just did pin to task manager, it would pin a version of Olive Editor that did not run under under NVIDIA offload and it wouldn't work. I would have the same problem I always had. So in order to fix that, I have to, I don't want to change that, I don't want to save anything. I have to um, copy, so I mean, <clears throat> I happen to know it's in this next door, but you can just use a find command to, to find it if, if you want. But um, I have to copy a desktop file into local share applications, which will override the one that's that's not in local share applications. I'm not even sure. Actually, I'm not even sure all of editors on the on the desktop path to be able to be found. So um, org. Olive, I already, I already copied it there. Um, and inside of there, uh, the exec path used to used to not have NVIDIA offload here, and I just I just added it to the front of that exec command. And now, if I search now, once I once I put that file in there, KDE can actually find Olive when I search for it here. And we'll see if it works. Is it working? File import that thing. Uh huh. Use footage parameters. Show enough. Excellent. Okay, so uh, that's all. Uh, very cool. Uh, if I cared enough, I would do this for Steam, I suppose, as well. There's some instructions about about how to do that for Steam in here. Um, but that being said, I don't have... Um, I'm not actually running... Uh, I'm not actually... The, the GPU on this machine isn't really used to render any Steam games. I just use, I use this laptop to play Steam, Steam Run games. I guess is that what it's called? Steam Run? Um, from a Windows machine here. So it's so it's like a virtual 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 desktop that I play games over. So I don't care about that so much. I'll probably do that later. So um, so one interesting bit about that is that even though it still works and you know it's, it's good, it's all good. Uh, if we go into PowerTop we can see that if I pull the plug on the system and go back to the overview, let's see, why is it not giving me, oh, there we go. Oh, that's quite a few, that's quite a, a few watts more than I thought it would. Okay, no, 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 it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I, I was confused because uh, those before when I took a look at it, it was consuming like six watts or something. But it was because I didn't have OBS running. Of course, it's doing stuff. So, yeah, yeah, it's consuming 25 watts because OBS is running. Even though OBS isn't using the NVIDIA graphics card, it's still doing stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, so if I, I can't show it to you because I have to shut down OBS to do it, but it consumes about six watts. Uh, steady state. So, there's that. All right. See you soon, folks.